Hello, my name is Dr. Wendy Trainer, and my goal is to help you find the happiness that you seek. I want you to reach heaven, nirvana, bliss, the truth of the soul, the truth of the whole, also known as God. And I want you to do it in one weekend with me. So I used to be depressed, now I'm happy. And I want to initiate you on the happiness journey. But I want to do it uh, without cults or conformity or confusion. I just want to do it with enjoyment, uh, elation, and freedom. And I want to help you find happiness. To make a long story short, I want you to be a master of yourself. And if you join me on this journey, you can achieve that goal. So uh, I've had students who've been uh, moved by the I Can Heal experience that I've been offering them. Patricia Brick is one of them. And she says that her experience um, was worth more money than anyone could pay. A treasure beyond measure worth millions of dollars to the seeker of truth. Uh, she says, I am healed, I'm renewed, I'm refreshed, I'm restored. This experience has been a solving bomb to my lifelong emotional wounds. So she's um, enthusiastic about the results of what I'm sharing. So before we get into this, I just want you uh, to know I'm here to reconnect you with your natural state, which is bliss, your true self or soul. I, and by doing that, I'm connecting you back to your true power so you can feel your true joy, joy without end, and be truly free because your joy will be independent of anything outside you and it will come from within you. So I'm here to help you uh, find that joy. And I wanna help you do it without having to sit in a cave by yourself, without having to chant every day or without having to do strenuous yoga poses. I wanna help you do it in a way that's fun and easy every step of the way. Um, that's been my experience. It has been fun and easy every step of the way without an authority, uh, without any submission and without any confusion. Um, so that's why I'm here to help you today, the same experience. Um, so you don't have to give your power away. You're gonna connect with your true power. And here's another student of mine named Jacob. Um, he worked at a Fortune 500 company and then he did the I Can Heal experience. And um, today he's one with his true self and he's happy and he's free. Um, I want you to know that I battled depression for 15 years. And then after I applied what I knew, I was happy for the next 15 years and that I'm still happy today. And, and you can tell I'm happy. Um, and I studied depression. I got a PhD in psychology and I studied happiness for years to find out what's gonna make me and others happy. Um, but I realized that you know, most people don't even understand what causes happiness, not even the scientists do. And, and I actually do because I've lived it. Um, and now I'm happy and in control of my life for over 15 years. Plus, I've been teaching what I know to other students for at least the last decade all over the world uh, through, through my social media posts and through media, TV, radio, interviews, books, seminars, workshops, retreats, um, and speeches, you know to help people find on any happiness. So if I can help them on their happiness journey, I can do the same for you. I've done it all over the world and now I'm coming into your home to help you. Um, so, so basically, I'm here to help you. And the funny thing is, the key to your happiness is really simple. Um, so, in 2004 or three, I published a paper with my co-authors, Richard Gonzalez and um, the now deceased uh, Susan Nolan Hoxima, and we found a relationship between self-rejection and depression. So, or self-judgment and depression, and I interpret that as self-rejection. So basically, all those correlation, not causation, we're seeing self-rejection and depression and then in 2008, I published a theory that basically showed self-rejection lies at the heart of depression and that this rejection comes from our tribe, the group whose uh, standards we internalize as our own, 
and then we internalize their standards of rejection and then come to reject ourselves. And then the rejection seems inescapable because we're seeing it from our group, our social group, everywhere, and we're seeing it from ourselves, and we don't feel like we can escape, and then it happens over a long time, and so that chronic conflict is what I call depression. So anyway, now we've seen in the research social rejection uh, and in depression is in depression, and now we're here to help you find your happiness and escape depression. So the good news is that the solution is really easy once you understand the cause. The cause is being trapped in a tribe of of people who reject you as you are, and the solution is to uh, love yourself, accept yourself, um, and if you can. To, to create a new tribe or find a new tribe, and if you can't, to become your own tribe uh, who sends yourself unconditional love and acceptance. Okay, so look, I have just given you the answer to how to cure your own depression, and I want you to know that there's a four-step process, actually three steps with one filler step which is uh, the steps I'm going to take you on on a retreat I'll be giving um, on the upcoming weekend online. And I also have uh, another gift for you that I'll share with you in just a minute. But just so you know, on this retreat, we're going to do three steps. One is self-acceptance, two is abundance, and three is enlightenment. And just briefly, the self-acceptance step is coming to know who you really are and accept who you really are and change your thoughts from self-degrading um, to self-appreciating. And then we're going to have the abundance part, which is where we erase, you could say, the grooves on a record, these emotional scars in our consciousness, so we can actually move forward in our lives and achieve our dreams. Because sometimes we get stuck. We may have had a uh, hurt in the past, even when we were very young. And therefore, when we come across experiences that look similar to that trauma, we respond to it as if it were the same trauma, which keeps us stuck in the same place where we've been since we were a child. And therefore, we will help you release the trauma on the I Can Heal retreat so you can move forward with your dreams. Okay, so that's step two. And then you can access your own abundance. And then step three, is enlightenment where you come to feel the bliss of the soul and know yourself as a piece of the whole which is also known as god so the amazing thing is in my 2008 book i was able to link s academic social psychology to the truth of the soul which i call the basic state in non-religious terms um, which is the basic state of all that is and the basic state of who you are it's that which came before your socialization or conditioning for the belief systems from your culture or your upbringing were implanted into your being. So this is the pure essence of who you really are and my job is to help you reclaim that pure state of being and I do that on the I Can Heal retreat. And then to reclaim that state is a blissful thing because your true nature is blissful. You are a force of nature, you came from nature and you will return to nature. So those are the three steps and with the letter N in between them, they spell the word saying, S for self-acceptance, A for abundance, N as a filler, and E for enlightenment. Okay, so step three is coming to know your true self as you really are, feeling the bliss of the soul, which is a bliss of the whole, also known as God in religious terms or non-religious terms uh, as the basic state of being. And that is a you are a wave in that ocean. Okay, you all. So the gift now that I want to give you is to invite you on a free call with me. I will be there with you and I'm going to give you a treasure map to your bliss, a treasure map to happiness. And I will give it to you and you will get to work with me one-on-one -on -one in our one free hour together where I will pinpoint uh, what your stated cause of confusion is or what's causing your suffering and then I'm going to give you a solution to that suffering and I'll put it within the context of that treasure map and then I will ask you if you want to implement that uh, process with me on the I Can Heal Retreat and then you can say yes I want to do this or no I don't there's no pressure at all it's just 
whatever floats your boat, so to speak, okay? So that's my gift to you. And uh, before I depart, I'll just read you one more quote from another student of mine, Merv Badiali. Um, he was feeling confused. He felt like he didn't have a toolbox for life. He'd been depressed for years. And now today he's living his dreams. He is enlightened, he is free, he is happy. He lives in bliss. And if he can do it, so can you. So um, Merv said I was the best coach ever. So thank you, Merv, that means a lot. I don't know if I'm a coach or if I'm a teacher. I can be either or neither. I'm just here as a fellow human being trying to help you live your dreams and achieve the happiness you seek. So click that link below. May your heart be aglow. And I look forward to seeing you not only uh, on our call together where I'll give you that treasure map to happiness and we'll pinpoint your problem and its solution, but also uh, we can implement it together on the I Can Heal experience where I'll allow you to feel the bliss of your soul, the true self, the bliss of the whole, which is the key to an ending happiness and a life of meaning and fulfillment. So there you are, my friend. Take care. Click that link if you feel inspired. Bye.